After you empty out this pot of yogurt into your bowl, you're going to use this pot as a measure. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Mom in France, where we talk all about parenting and family life in France. Today we are making gâteau au yo, yogurt cake. It's a really easy, kids-friendly recipe. Let's get started. So the idea of this recipe is really, really simple. It starts off with a pot of yogurt. It can be any type of yogurt, really. It can be even have sugar, fruit flavor, but normally you would just use a plain yogurt. I just have a really simple plain yogurt, which I'm going to use for my recipe today. Now, the idea behind this recipe is after you empty out this pot of yogurt into your bowl, you're going to use this pot as a measure to measure the other ingredients, and that's what makes it so kid-friendly. You're going to use one pot of yogurt, half a pot full of oil, half or one packet of baking powder. This is poudre à lever that we get in um, just the supermarket. I don't know if it's exactly the equivalent of baking powder, um, probably not. If you know exactly what the difference is between baking powder and poudre à lever, please let me know in the comments below. Just for simplicity today, I'm just going to throw in the whole packet just to make it easy. And it's at 7 grams, so it's not really a big one. Okay, next one is sugar. We're going to have two pots of sugar and two eggs. And finally, we have three pots of flour. Uh, now about the eggs, they are a little bit small, so I don't compare it to like in other places that I've bought eggs. Um, yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm going to do the recipe today with those and we'll see how it comes out because this is actually like an experiment I'm learning just trying it out at the same time as you so uh, okay for the flour I am using gluten-free flour today just because I have to eat gluten-free um, you should totally use normal flour if that's okay with you but um, since I actually want to taste this cake afterwards I'm gonna eat use it with a gluten-free version and I'll tell you how it comes out the last ingredient is vanilla we're just going to use one teaspoon of vanilla Okay, so we're going to start off with our pot of yogurt. Just open it like that. We had to do that one first, but now I'm going to go in order of the amounts. So I'm going to start off with our half a pot of oil. And I guess I'm just going to have to like guess where half is. Okay, just right. Okay, we'll just pour this in. I'm also testing this to see how easy it is. So. Okay, now that was, we have our one um, sachet of baking powder. Just pour that in. So the thing about this recipe also is that you can just like pour everything in and mix it. So that makes it also really simple. For the kids, they can pretty much do it themselves unless they're not old, old enough to use the oven. Obviously you want to help them with that. The sugar is two. I'm just going to assume that two means all the way up to the top, or just close to the rim. The yogurt actually was just like below the top, so maybe we'll just use that as our guide. One, two. Oh, that was a little bit too much. But you know what? I'm just going to pretend like I'm a kid and I'm not going to get these measurements exactly right. So we'll just do it like that, okay? To see like if it's not perfectly measured if it comes out. Because I actually make another cake that like, it's really forgiving, like you can just like totally mess things up and it still come out. I love that cake. Two eggs. Little shell. Now I'm just gonna start mixing that up slightly, but not too much, cause you know, I'm gonna pretend we didn't really do this well. Oops. Now I'm gonna take, recuperate my pot and measure out three cups of flour. So what did you think of my cool, non-cool mom sunglasses that I was wearing? <laughs> I had a nicer pair like a long time ago, but they broke and you know, I'm just more busy with like other mom stuff than getting new sunglasses. So one, two, I'm being a bit messy here, pretending like I'm not, I'm a little bit clumsy. I probably am actually. But. Now we're going to go for our teaspoon of vanilla. So I think this is not strictly required, but like if you like, you can put it in. It just adds a little bit of flavor. So, okay, one, one of these. Okay, there we are. Now I'm gonna mix it up. We're gonna get some energy into this. 
By the way, if you did notice, I colored my hair last week with a natural color. So if you like it, let me know. If you think it needs to change, let me know. And by the way, don't forget to su subscribe to this channel because that will help to share it with other people and hopefully they'll be able to learn some, some of these what I talk about, about France, and about living in France, and about specifically being a parent, and parenting, and family life, and all the things that I talk about on my channel. And make sure to stay tuned, because I'm not sure which video I'm going to post first, but upcoming videos are on school lunches, and I'm going to have another video coming up on um, snacks and desserts that I remember having when I was young in France as a child myself. And some of them I specifically remember that I didn't have when I was in the United States and I really remember experiencing them for the first time in France. I don't know if they're, that was just back in the days, if it's different now, but if you want to see them, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. Okay, so it looks like my um, cake batter here is looking pretty good. It's actually slightly lumpy, Okay, here I have my pan. Um, it's just a bread tin, actually, from way back when I lived in the United States. So I think um, I was intending to have this like be a longer, thinner, and taller one, but since I had this on hand, I thought I'd use it and see how it comes out. Um, yeah, and I've already just buttered it in, inside. I haven't put flour on, but yeah, that's what it says in the recipe. Pour this in. Okay, there we are. Now I'm going to bring it to the oven. This has to cook at 180 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Okay, so here we are. The cake has been cooking for 30 minutes at 180 degrees centigrade. I've just taken out of the oven. It's still quite hot. That's why I've been carrying it with this um, cloth. Uh, I actually checked it before I took it out. And as you can see with my cake tester, it's coming out really clean. So it's definitely ready. You see, it's risen up really well. I'm really pleased about that because I was wondering if it was going to be like a little bit flat for this amount of batter that we put in, it was like kind of low down. But it looks really fluffy and let's try to cut a piece and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna to have to help myself here by lifting it out with this aluminum lining. Let's try this. Uh, that will make it a little bit easier. It does look a little bit flatter than I ideally would have liked it, but it, as long as it tastes good, that's okay. And the supermarket, they sell these like long, thin, and really tall, well, taller than that cakes, and I was hoping to have something like that so I could give it to my daughter for her snack as well. Now they have to, we have to provide our own snacks at school. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. Mm. It looks pretty good. There's this part in here that um, it looks a little softer, but maybe that's just because I was cutting it, you know, with a knife. And that's mmm, mmm. That actually is really good. The, you can taste the vanilla, and it's nice and fluffy. So for a really simple recipe, I'm really impressed. Um, it's sweet. It's not too sweet. You can. It's really more the vanilla flavor. Um, I can see that maybe if I leave this out, this would become a really um, more dense, maybe in, within a day or two. But what I certainly right now, fresh out of the oven, it's really fluffy and soft, and I, I really like it actually. Now, of course, you can also make variants on this. Um, if you want, you can add chocolate chips in the batter. I saw one where they were mixing in Nutella, or you can separate the batter in half and mix cocoa powder and then like do it like a marble cake. I think, um, but yeah, I'm sure you could do lots of variations on this, but this is just the basic simple recipe. It's the kids can make it um, and it's just fun, you know, also to do as a family and it comes out good enough for kids to eat. Good enough, Pl plenty good enough. So go ahead, try it at home. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. Trust me on that one. Subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, give me a thumbs up, and hope to see you again soon. Bye bye! Lift it up and show it to you guys. This is quite a strong one.